What's up everybody? Today we're going to jump into Xactimate and reorganize and label the photos that we imported in the previous video. First thing we do is we're going to click on the images button up there and then we're, that'll bring up our uh, images. <clears throat> when I did this inspection I went around the house starting at the right front corner and then I finished the front inspection after I had gone all the way around the house. I got a, the last couple of shots just before I went up onto the roof. So those two photos right here are need to be up with the rest of the front images. And How we do that is we select, we control click on each photo that we want to move and we're going to, first thing we're going to do with it of course is label it. I'm going to call it front elevation and then the way to get these all together and this is a little bit quirky with Xactimate but you click on the first one the first image and you hold down you're going to click and drag but you're not going to drag very far because what you want to see is this little vertical line and that will tell you that it's going to insert all the photos that you're dragging in order all together right behind the photo or right behind that line so it drops them all in there so those two extra straggler photos are now lined up with the rest of the front elevation photos now I'm going to label the right elevation then the back elevation and in this case I clicked the first picture on the back that I wanted to include and then I hold down shift and click the last picture that I wanted to include with the back. Kind of a shortcut so you don't have to individually go through and like select each one. Relabel those. Rear elevation. Do the same thing on the left. And then select all the roof. And I, I always label, get into the habit of labeling the roof that on the house is the dwelling roof because a lot of times you're going to have outbuildings and so it's a lot easier when a file reviewer is going through your file to see dwelling roof, shed roof, detached garage roof. Um, it's just makes their flow go a lot easier and it, and it reduces kickbacks because they can they don't have to. It, it's easy to miss photos uh, when they're all mixed up in there and they're not labeled. And then I go through here and I'm going to label I'm going to do this for all the elevations as well, but we're going to show here um, labeling the description um, on the roof photos. And if you'll notice, my cursor is not moving as I'm popping between these photos. And that's because there's a keyboard shortcut. If you hold down the Alt button and tap the N key, it'll pop you to the next image. And it'll puts you right in the field where you want to start typing. So all you have to do is hit Alt N and start typing, Alt N, start typing, and so on and so forth. You can go backwards. If you did a typo before you hit Alt N or you, or, or you want to change it, and you hit Alt, hold down Alt, and tap P for previous. So Alt N for next, Alt P for previous and you can navigate around through your photos pretty quickly with those little keyboard shortcuts. Those are wonderful. And that is how you organize and label photos in Xactimate in a really, really basic way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.